Hey YouTube, today we're going to learn how to create and submit a revision file via the file exchange platform. Now the items I'm working with today are not variation listings, so I'm going ahead and I'm going to use just the general active reporting function. Go ahead and... Okay, now like any other time when doing a revision file or an end file, you want to make sure that you are formatting the item ID column, number, zero decimals, click OK. Something to keep in mind when you are working with the active file as opposed to the active revised price and quantity is that the active file, for whatever reason, includes a space and a lot of the headers, you'll need to remove those if you plan on using those columns. So for example, custom label, you'd have to remove that. What I'm going to do, because they give you the category with this particular file, I'm going to sort by category because I want to get rid of any of the other items that I'm not interested in changing today. So up here, you've got your category, category number. I don't know it by numbers at this point, so I'm going to go ahead and sort I'm going to delete anything that's not a bracelet. Okay. Delete. Alrighty. And delete. This is going to leave us with our item IDs and the numbers that we're wanting to edit today. Now, when you're working with a revision file, you want to make sure that you're just including the columns that you're actually wanting to revise. So what I'm going to do is I want to revise the price of the items. So I'm going to delete any column that doesn't mesh with what it is that I'm trying to change. So I'm not changing anything except for the price. I'm going to delete all of this information because we don't need it. Now, when you're using the active report, you will need to change the names on several of your columns. Um, if you're trying to find out what the correct names are, you can refer to your advanced user guide. So I'm going to do a control F to do a find on price. This talks about start price of a variation. That's for variations, though. Revising price and quantities for variations. Start price. This is the one that we want, page 107. And what you can do, typically, is copy and paste this information and place it into your file. I'm just going to type it in, but it's actually a very good idea to copy and paste. For whatever reason, my system's not allowing me to have that cursor to copy right now. So I go up here, start price. Now you want to keep in mind that file exchange is extremely case and space sensitive, so you make sure there are no spaces. I'm going to change this because file exchange is kind of weird about currency. I'm going to format it as a number with two decimals, and that's going to get rid of that dollar sign that was there. Now, because I used just the regular active report as opposed to the uh, revised price and quantity, we're going to have to insert the action column. And in hindsight, I probably should have left the title column here so we could actually see what items we were working with. Because I'm going to be changing them all to the same price, it doesn't really matter. But generally, you know, while you're working with it, you could go ahead and leave your titles. Now, you want to remember that when you're doing a revision file, it is based off of the eBay item numbers. You can't use your uh, custom labels and have the system know that that's what you're referring to. You need to use the eBay item IDs. So the revise is going to be the value that you use. Make sure it's a capital R, because again, case and space sensitivities. Before I forget, I'm going to do a save as and save this to my desktop. I'll just type in revise. 
Whenever you get this message about it, you know, not being compatible with certain areas, just click yes. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the price here. Let's go ahead and change the price to $54.99. So go ahead and paste that all the way down. You're going to save it again. Again, yes. And because this is all I'm changing here, this is actually all I would need to have in this file. Now, if I was changing other things like the title or the quantity, I could change those in this file as well. Certain fields have, are dependent upon each other, shipping for example. If you change anything about shipping, you have to include everything about shipping. So you can't just change maybe your shipping option uh, to change it from USPS First Class to USPS Media. You would have to include every single column related to shipping and fill it all out, all over again. So just keep that in mind. Certain fields are dependent upon each other. Start price, however, not dependent, not a problem. So I've saved it. I'm going to go ahead and close this out. Don't save because we already saved it. When you're ready to upload your file, you're going to go to File Exchange. There's a couple ways that you could get to the upload files. You can either click right here or you can click here on the left. I'm going to go browse. I'm already at my desktop. Find the revise file, click open, and then you select upload. Now it's going to tell you that you have a reference number, you're going to receive an email at your email address, um, you're going to go to the view upload results page to check the status of the file. You can either click here or you can click over here. And that's going to show you that it's been received, but it's not completed. If you do a refresh of the page, it is eventually going to say in progress, and then the status will show as completed once the file's been completed. Yeah. Great. So as you can see, we now have a report ready for us. Even though the status shows as completed, and actions as 100%, that does not indicate that the file was successful. You always want to check the load results report. We'll go ahead and open. Now as long as your status says success or warning, that means that the revision or the add or the end for that matter went through successfully. If it's only if it says fail or failure, that means that the change or the addition or the end action did not happen. Now if you see anything like warning or failure, you don't really want to pay attention to the error code, you want to take a look at the error message. And as this says, if the item sells by best offer, I won't be able to require immediate payment, and that's fine. It also shows some recommended values that you could use such as a saying, I could add some item specifics to try to get more people interested in my items. So you could take that to heart if you wanted to, you don't have to. It also again will show you the item number that's correlating to each item. Now these changes take effect immediately when you upload a successful uh, file. So if we were to go to this particular item, And do a search on it, you'll see that instead of the $59.99, it's now the $54.99. And that's how you create and submit a revision file with File Exchange. Keep watching for more videos on how to build your eBay arsenal.